What I think is interesting is this little girl isn't even two years old. And the first thing she does when she gets one of these Oreo-type cookies is pull it apart and eat the icing off the cookie. They learn this stuff really, really young, don't they? And then after she eats all the icing off the cookie, she goes for the cookie. But boy, that icing. That's real special. She likes to do that. This is uh, the 24th, and of course on the 24th is Christmas here. Everybody does Christmas. And the place is just local with all kinds of things. The big thing to get today is, uh, is oven-baked pork. And this guy wants to see. They baked it. They uh, told the pigs. And they're really delicious. Lots of spices. Everybody goes out and buys their pork. They just come here and they cut it off and we buy it by the pound. It's really quite good. It's a Christmas tradition here. There's another pig that's been on a skewer and been cooking. They've probably cooked it all night long to get it just right. So, that's part of the tradition here. This is the pit where they cook the pigs. It's just tin on all sides. They build a fire in the middle of it. You can see they've got the pigs over and above it. Let's go around to the other side and see what we see here. You can see there are lots of pigs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more pigs. They're all lined up. It's kind of dark in here because it's covered because it's raining. But these are all the pigs that were up above this fire pit all night long, cooking slowly. See? You can see them somewhat here. Lots of pigs they'll sell today. I take them over here, put them on the table, cut them up and sell them. There we go. A little Christmas shopping. You see these avocados. Look at the size of those avocados and all the other things. Typical super mercado in, in, in the Dominican Republic here. Just like the United States, just a little different. Typical. Those are salamis. They eat a lot of salamis here in the Dominican Republic. Yogurt, Montequilla Toros. It's the typical super mercado in the, in the Dominican Republic. President Light Beer. All the normal brands you're used to seeing in the United States, but in Spanish labels, you'll recognize the labels. They're just done a little differently for here. Uh, there's Kellogg's Corn Flakes. And of course, Captain Crunch. Every place. This is what it's like shopping in the Supermercado here in Dominican Republic. The aisles can be a bit narrow, so they get everything in. Everything's just like it is in the United States, except more expensive. Very expensive here. Very expensive. Here is the hygienic repackaging station under a stairway. This is where they take the big bags of rice or milk or or whatever big bags they put in little sacks and seal it up, weigh it, seal it up. It's uh, the system here works good. You want a customized bag? They'll do it for you. We're back in the house, and everybody's cooking the dinner. Of course, it's the 24th. It's the night of the 24th. This is more or less when we celebrate Christmas here, and nothing much going on yet. We're cooking dinner here, and stuff is going to be cooked, and potato salad, and uh, the pork we bought earlier, you saw, and uh, vegetables, and, and apples, and grapes, and all that kind of stuff. Also, I'm playing music out in the rancho, but you can hear, and this music is going out into the community. People are sitting quietly in their houses, enjoying music, enjoying the, the quiet evening as the night 
kids in my neighbor's house across the street. They're sitting there on their rent in the front and in the little store across the street. They're sitting there. And the people in the whole community are quietly in the streets. It's been raining all day long, so it's not the best night. But it's a quiet community here in the mountainous part of the Dominican Republic. Where right now we're getting ready to celebrate and are celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Well, Santa Claus came last night and brought for, for Hennessy the thing she wanted most. Look at that. I guess Hennessy's a happy little girl. I was really surprised. I told Penny Hennessy that only really good little girls and boys got bicycles. And wow. I guess she's a really good little girl, my princess. It's the next day now, and uh, we're getting ready to eat and put stuff out in the rancho so that we can have people in. You can see we have a lot more cupcakes are covered for flies. We don't have flies in here. And over here we have fresh baked bread I baked. And over here we have a big tray of chewy brownies ready to, to go. And uh, let's see, here we have something cooking on the stove. I'm not sure what. This is a mora, rice and black beans. That's ready to go. In the oven, we've got the oven cooked pork. Wow, that smells good. That's getting hot. And now we go over from here. Francesca's cooked prepared something. Ah, big, big, beautiful pot of potato salad. So things are coming really well. My preciosa, my pretty wife. Uh, yes, was <laughs> any good? Hello. Oh uh, well. See what how all this works out a little later as people come to the rancho to enjoy things with us.